What's up guys, it's Coach JCJ with the Fit Life Squad with my Summer Body Blast workout for you. I know you were trying to get it tight for the summer. So we're gonna hit those arms, we're gonna hit the legs, definitely hit that core with some exercises that are gonna get your heart rate up too. That's what we want. All right, what do I have today? Just a set of dumbbells. These are 10 pounds. Use what you have at home. We will be on the floor, so have a mat if you need one. Definitely a towel, definitely some water. All right, let's start with a warm up. We can't do anything until we warm up. So we're starting with upper body. Give me some arm circles forward, one at a time, right here. We have three blocks of exercises to do. That first block is gonna be upper body, as I just mentioned. Second block, we're hitting the lower body. Third block, we're on the floor, hitting that core, hitting it hard, hitting it hard. All right, in five seconds, you're gonna give me squat. So feet are shoulder width apart. Three, two, and one. Go ahead and sit back, give me squats. Put the weight in the heels, please. Back is straight, chest is up. Nice, few more. And then we're gonna hit some knee swings. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, and now you're taking those knees around. Making sure our hips are ready. Three seconds, and we're going to get back to warming up our upper body. Three, two, and one. Okay, now your hands are behind your ears. Bring your elbows in, just like that. Shoulder gaiters, warming up those shoulders. All right, in three seconds, we hit jumping jacks. Get that heart rate up. Three, two, and one. All right, hands together, feet together. Give me jacks. You are welcome to give me modified here. Staying on the balls of your feet, give me a nice bounce. Three, two, and one. Okay. All right, let me show you where we're starting. Again, we're doing upper body. So grab your weights. We got 40 seconds of work on each move with a 20 second rest on that first block. Then our rest time gets a little shorter. A little bit. <laughs> All right, your first move is a row and then a curl. Okay, so shifting the hips back, back is flat, squeeze here, and then give me a curl. All right, getting started, five seconds. All right, so here we are, pull back and curl. Squeezing those shoulder blades, squeeze. Nice, three seconds. Okay, and now we're gonna hit our triceps with single, single double kickbacks. So you're hinging at that hip. Arms are tucked here. Give me one, give me two, 
and then together. All right, hips back, arms here, kick back, flex that tricep, and then give me two. Five seconds. Okay, weights down. You can stand up. We have a dumbbell thruster right now. So, your weights are right here at your shoulders. You're going to squat down, press those weights straight up above your head, driving up through the legs. All right, here we go. Squat down, press up. Sit in those heels, take the weight off your knees. Whew, that was the heart raiser, right? Heart rate raiser, 15 seconds. All right, next move, upright row with a burpee. Upright row with a burpee. Get ready. I'm going to walk you through it. Three, two, and one. So give me an upright row. Bring those weights down. You can step back. Step in. Keep that back straight. Upright row. Or pop your legs back. Keeping that back straight the entire time. All right, block one, round one, done. We get about 30 seconds to rest, then we start at the top. Dumbbell row and curl. Here we go, shift the hips back, row, curl it up. Keep those arms tucked into your side on that curl, nice and controlled. Perfect. All right. Shorter rest now. We got five seconds to kick backs. Here we go. Kick back. And then give me two. I still want quality movements. You know, we're doing a lot of kickbacks on one move, right? Flex. Take your time with it and try not to swing. Weights down, dumbbell thruster. Weights at the shoulder. Sit back, drive up.
Upright row burpee. If you're feeling bad, give me a push up. Come on your knees if you want. <laughs> Make it your own. All right. <laughs> Second round done. Grab quarter. We got one more round to get through together. And on to lower body. Five seconds. Grab your weights. All right. Row. Curl it up. Three seconds. Okay. Kickbacks. All right, off we go. Last time, let's work these triceps. Dumbbell thruster. Last time. Last time, y'all. Five seconds. Come on, let's work it. Here we go. Squat down. Press up. Few more. Up right row. I'm on my knees. <laughs> Woo. Okay, weights down. Go ahead and rest. Grab water. We are moving on to lower body. So what does that look like? We have a deadlift. I'm going to work these hands. And then a lunge, squat jump lunge. All right, so our deadlift, 
He's right here, keeping that back flat. Again, feeling that nice stretch in our hamstring. Come up, squeeze the glutes, all right? Grab your weights. Weights right at your thighs. All right. Keep them close to your legs. Come up, squeeze the glutes. Push that booty back, squeeze it. When you come in, push it back, squeeze right here. Now I usually go heavier on these, <laughs> but my body is tired today from workout. So, I'm doing what I can do. All right, lunge squat, lunge. So you don't need any weights for this at all. You're gonna give me a front lunge, stop here, squat jump or calf raise, and then other leg. You can also give me a reverse lunge. All right, here we go, no weights needed. Lunge, come here, squat jump, other foot or squat calf raise, all right? Turn around. You go as low as you can on that lunge, whatever your knees want you to do today. <laughs> That's what you're doing. Eliminate the jump, give me that calf raise. Okay. All right, now we're on the mat. We got a hydrant, donkey kick combo, and we're doubling it up. So you're gonna give me two hydrants and then two donkey kicks. Hands underneath the shoulders. All right, take that knee up to the waist twice, donkey kick twice. Give me a nice kick. Also, don't half step. Get that foot up there. Flex your foot. Really hit that glute muscle. That's where the booty work takes place, right there, right there. Okay, other side. I'm gonna flip it over. Enjoy the breather. It gets shorter as we go, right? Donkey kicks twice, hydrant twice. Perfect timing. I'm gonna stretch my glutes out a little bit. You got a little bit of a rest, but you're on your feet. You're on your feet. We have our deadlifts. First, shake the legs off, shake them off. All right, I'm grabbing my weights. Weights right in front of your thighs. Here we go, off again, deadlift. Squeeze.
Okay, weights down. Lunge, squat, lunge. Three seconds and we're on the floor. Get yourself ready. Hydrant, donkey kick. I know it's burning, but hang in there. Lifting it over. Got to hit the other booty. We do. You think you don't, but you do. Watch. Watch how you conquer this third round. Grab your weights. All right. Let's hit this deadlift one more time. Together, stronger together. We are stronger together. Come on. Nice, nice, weight down. Remember, make this a reverse lunge. This front lunge is too challenging. Reverse lunge is a little easier on the knees. Of course I ended up on the squat jump. <laughs> All right, on the mat. Delirium setting in. Come 
along, close to the finish line on the circuit. <laughs> All right. Get that foot up there. Woo. All right, give your booty a little stretch right here. <laughs> okay, you can stay on the mat because we got core next, guys. Almost, block three, coming up. You're on your back, so go ahead and get on your back. Push my weights out of the way. Okay, let me tell you where we start. You're on your back, knees are bent, hands right by your ear. Yeah, that works. All right, so you're gonna tap each knee and then tap them together, all right? Bringing up those shoulder blades off the floor, and then we will progress from there together. All right, here we go. Single, single, double knee tap. Working those obliques. Breathe out as you do the work, as you crunch up, exhale. All right, we have an X oblique crunch, X ab crunch, I like to call it. So your body's in an X. You're going to reach one hand to the opposite foot and alternate. Enjoy this for right now, but not for long. All right, let's go. Let's go to work. Take your time on this. Control your leg, control your arm. Focus on squeezing those oblique muscles. Working those external obliques right on the side. All right, we're in a plank position now. You have options on this one. You're on a full plank, you're gonna tap each toe, tap each ankle, or if that's too hard, give me shoulder tap planks from modified position or full, all right? Hands underneath the shoulders, full plank. This does require some balance and focus. Again, you can give me shoulder taps. Next move, still in the plank position, you're gonna give me a pike and knee drive. So hands underneath the shoulder still, give me a pike, then come in with a knee and alternate. All right, so pike, drive in a knee.
and now you get to rest. 30 seconds. We're almost there. You're doing great. You're doing great. You're here. So that's a plus right there. Go ahead and get right back on your back. We got those knee taps. Bring those shoulder blades up. Single, single, double. Again, take your time. Don't rush it. Pause right at the top. Pause. Pause. I'm gonna finish it out. <laughs> All right, body is in an X. Remember our rests are shorter. C. All right, opposite hand, opposite foot. Nice. All right. We are in a plank position. Quick transition. All right. Ankle taps or shoulder taps. Don't be discouraged if this one is too hard. Keep trying it. I'm really, really focusing. stretch here. <laughs> You get to stretch a little bit more. Grab a towel if you need it. Wipe yourself off. Grab water. We got one more round. One more round. Go ahead and get on your back. Prep for that last, last round. Starting from the top. So close. Tell yourself one last push, and I promise <laughs> it'll be over soon and we get to recover. At this point, it's mental, right? It's mental. X crunch.
okay? We are in our plank position. Last two moves, y'all. Last two. Let's get it. Knee drive. All right, we're here. Driving in that knee. Strong finish, come on. More than halfway. Five seconds. And you're done. Go ahead and sit in child's pose. You earned it. You're here. Let's recover. That's right, get that heart rate down. Those ab moves were intense. Go ahead and put one arm through. Stretch out your shoulder. Extend the other arm. Reach out those fingertips. And switch arms. Okay, you can come on up and we're going to stretch out our shoulders just a little bit. And while we do that, I want to thank you for visiting my channel, for doing this workout today. I am Coach Stacy J with the Fit Life Squad. Please subscribe to my channels and hit that notification button so when I upload a workout, you know about it and you can knock that one out too. I'm on Instagram at Fit Squad Fit Life. Go ahead and follow me for more inspiration to move and eat better and live better, right? That's what the goal is, to live better. All right, shoulder rolls back. All right, hands underneath the shoulders, round your back, flatten it out. Now dig your toes into the floor, push those hips up one more time. This time you're walking your hands in though. Walk your hands in, hang here, right at your feet. Roll up, nice and slow. All right, all right guys. That was your summer body blast workout. I hope you enjoyed it. I look forward to working out with you again. See you at the next workout. Bye-bye.